Okay, are you heading to the, uh, tomorrow's Sounders match? So you ever wonder what it takes to be one of the loud and proud fans you see at every game? Oh, Casey found out. She's going to share that with us. Casey? Yeah, it's a lot more involved than I thought. If you've ever been to a Seattle Sounders game, you probably noticed how intense the fan base is. You know that enormous cheering section with, like, organized flags and cheers and taunts at the far south end of Quest Field? Well, we thought they would be the best people to ask. How did they prepare for a Sounders match? Walker, the photographer, and I tagged along with members of the Emerald City Supporters, or ECS, to find out what it takes to be a true Sounders fan. This might be what you all look like on your way to the Sounders game. But this is what the starter fan, like Walker the photographer, looks like. Sure, he's looking forward to the match, and yeah, he says he's a Sounders fan. So what does it take to be a true Sounders fan? We set out on a recent match day to find out. Seattle Sounders, here we, go. we figured the best people to check in with were the 1,700 plus members of the Emerald City supporters. You know the ones, the big, loud group of Uber fans grouped together at the south end of Quest Field. But the road to getting here starts many, many, many hours earlier. This is like a nursery right now. It's, it's, and in the sense that it's full of screaming children, but it's going to be full of screaming adults later. I think. We asked Greg Mockus, one of the co-organizers of the ECS, what it takes to be a true fan. Well, according to us, uh, we believe that if you stand for 90 minutes or plus, you sing, you don't care if your view is blocked, and you're just there to provide volume and voice, be the ultimate 12th man. Mike Morris is the owner of Fuel Sports Bar in Pioneer Square, where members of the ECS meet up hours and hours before kickoff to get pumped. You get the European feel with a lot of the chants and the, and the, and the songs, and everybody has fun. There's no, it's a good, fun environment. No one likes us. We don't care. Plus, part owner Drew Carey often shows up. He told us it's the fans that keep him excited about the season. It's heartwarming. It's great. I hope it's, I hope it's like this in the 10th season and the 20th season. And hopefully in 10 and 20 years, all fans will learn how to dress for these, unlike Walker and I. Yeah, you guys look good. He's missing a scarf, and we need an ECS scarf. But... Walker, you are embarrassing me, dude. You're embarrassing me. I can't take you anywhere. I don't think I'm that bad. Turns out I wasn't off to such a great start either. Well, you got your scarf on backwards. I do? Yeah, because the symbol's supposed to meet up in the center. Oh. Would you mind holding this? Yeah, see what I mean? No, no, it's supposed to be... Uh... And then it... Let's see how it meets up in the... In the oh, yes! Oh, I get it now. Yeah, how embarrassing. There. That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> So, with our Sounders spirit appropriately displayed, we joined the hundreds of fans marching from Pioneer Square to Quest Field. Once we got there, we thought we'd see what it's really like, firsthand, to be a part of the loudest group in the stadium. So, yeah, our game day started earlier than we were used to, but man, did we feel like we were part of the match. And that's exactly what the ECS and other Uber fans are all about. Walker sure learned a lesson, too. The next time you see him heading to a Sounders game, he'll look less like this and more like this. Aside from Walker, uh, for being this such a great sport, we also want to thank the Seattle Sounders, the Emerald City supporters, and the Seattle Team Shop for taking us under their wing and showing us how to be true Sounders fans. He looked like a jelly bean. Big, big, big jelly bean. A supportive jelly bean. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you asked you, Carrie, to hold your microphone. Yeah, Here, can was, you hold this? Well, in retrospect, that wasn't the most polite thing no, to say. He, oh, it's fine. He, he was, was fine so cool. He was so nice. And your next Schooled chance you. to show your Sounders support is coming up tomorrow at Quest Field. They take on Kansas City. Wizards kickoff is at noon. For tickets and information on how you can join ECS or just be more involved as a fan, head to Q13Fox.com and click on Mornings with Casey. That is good stuff. What yeah. a fun look. Thanks, Casey. Thanks.